Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. Well, after losing my job and my boyfriend in San Francisco, I entered a win and in contest. You've won an in. Falling in love moves through the regular beats of the romantic comedy, where the female protagonist Gabriella, played by Christina Million, starts out completely beaten down in her career as well as love life. Thus, it is the perfect time to do something on a whim, like enter a win and in contest and actually win the inn. So she goes all the way to New Zealand, only to discover that the inn is in a state of disrepair. Enter the male love interest, who conveniently is a contractor, and you have a love story. We have to give million props for being cute and lovely, and I could see why any man would fall for her. The problem is, she cannot muster up any sizzling chemistry with co-star Adam Demos, who plays the hunky contractor Jake. Sure, the man is easy on the eyes, and all that contractor work has done miraculous things for his physique, but he barely emotes. Perhaps he feels that all he has to do is be good looking. However, the key to a rom-com being greater than the sum of its parts, is when the two actors have charisma and chemistry together. Million and Demos look good together, and that's about it. Needless to say, the minor characters are not very well developed. They exist just to help make Gabriella's life easier. In fact, her life becomes so void of obstacles, all they could muster for us in the way of an antagonist, is an uptight woman who owns the other inn in town. At least her ex-boyfriend doesn't get the villain edit, and leaves the narrative as the nice guy who just couldn't commit to her. However, the relationship remains shallow and underdeveloped. For a couple who spent two years together, there doesn't seem to be a compelling reason as to why. The movie tries to go down the whole Jane Austen path, with letter writing becoming a symbolic thing for the couple. The problem is, the letters they find in the wall hardly inspire us to feel great passion. The two actors don't really add anything compelling to their narration of these letters, so it is a symbol that feels a little empty. Also, there is no leap of faith from Jake. You can't help but notice that it is Gabriella who makes the decision to stay and run the inn. He doesn't say anything until she has laid her cards all on the table. She has to uproot her entire life, and instead of being supportive about whatever decision she makes, especially since she never made any promises, he sulks and pouts. To sum up, what does this movie have? Decent humor involving a goat, good-looking leads, eco-friendly inns, and a community that gives away lots of free stuff. If you want a movie to watch while you fold your laundry, then falling in love is for you. Perfect for multitasking, and easy to forget about once you are done. Seems to me, you haven't told her how you actually feel. I'm guessing the universe has its own plans for things, though. I like to imagine a fairy telling you.